I'm but, miserable, but like I'm sticking it out. When it comes to the beat, ain't nobody coming for me. Ain't nobody coming for me. Ain't nobody coming for me. He just started getting like really freaked out. I like Mark, but that give me a man who's by. I mean, they can't do this forever. Um, ain't nobody coming for me. She's gone through things with her mom, I'm sure. In the words of Nene Leaks, hello, it doesn't cost me anything. It's gonna cost you a lot of shit on your nose. We're doing all of this. Wait, my wig comes down, I ain't glue it down. <laughs> 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 Candy came through with his look, bitch. I'm like. <laughs> the wig is a no. <laughs> <laughs> Candy, 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 was gone with the wind, but now I'm back and twice as fabulous. I'm living my dream, not above my means. This phoenix has risen, and I'm saying, bye, ashes. The only time that I look back is to see how far I've come. Don't check for me unless you got a check for me. I'm on a spiritual journey and still traveling first class. Hi guys, welcome back to the Earth Revenge. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, welcome back because we know they've been watching our videos. Like, oh, how could well, you not? Welcome back to our new video. This is Real Housewives of Atlanta, episode four. Episode four, season, season 13. 12. I'm just talking. 12. When is Andy gonna shut this shit down? Because it just seems like it's gonna go forever. No, seriously, when we is it gonna shut it down? We don't know. Because this is going forever, and I mean, they can't do this forever. Come on now. Nene has made a fucking fortune off of them. Candy is gonna gonna have made a fortune. All of Candy them is gonna, gonna have made a fortune. Dry, honey. I know, but we don't. I don't know. Whenever they close it out. Probably fifteen or twenty. That's what I was thinking. Fifteen season. Fifteen is too soon. Twenty probably, but fifteen we would have a heart attack. Twenty because years. it's. I think that it's still a hype in reality TV right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. And at season fifteen, I think it's gonna still be that. That, that hike. Yeah, and for the real housewives of Atlanta to just like is. tip on out in the height of, in the height of height. all of the height. reality craze is just unheard of. You wouldn't think that they would do something like that. So, no. Let's get started. Don't forget to like, hit that bell so that way you can be notified of all the videos that we're going to post. And subscribe as well. Right. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Go watch our last video because people aren't really watching our Married to Medicine Raw edition. Don't forget to like, hit that bell so that way you can be notified of all the videos that we're going to post. And subscribe as well. Right. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Go watch our last video because people aren't really watching our Married to Medicine Raw edition. Raw reaction. Right. But we don't want to give up on Married to Medicine because yeah, we have been faithful to Married to Medicine. And Married to Medicine is really good. It's it about really our is. marketing and how we are reaching out to the people. What the fuck do Jared got on? Dr. Jared, why do you have on a blazer at a carnival or at a kid's pool party? How the people are getting, you know, how we're reaching them. Because there are, there are millions of people that are watching. Right, they wouldn't be around for seven seasons. Exactly, so Seriously. we just have to find, target those people and find them so they can say, okay, I want to see more of what other people have to say right. about it. We got a lot of reviews on our first Real Housewives of Atlanta video, which that wasn't what we expected. Right, we not at all. That, like, all. Um, but it's been going well and we didn't do it for the views. We actually started this whole thing because I would say one of the reasons was because I would say we need to be getting my reaction right. live because he will be on his computer working or something and I'll be in here veins popping out of my neck face red because <laughs> me and them just oh <laughs> And by the way, it is still no shade November, y'all. So right. Like, I cheated a little bit only because it was ridiculous. I'm but miserable, but like I'm sticking it out until December first. Like I want to shave my face, but I'm here for I'm down for the cost. Right. But so we are right. his shave is not a low shave. His shave is off completely shade. off. So he can bring you guys the makeup tutorials. So I want to know the background of it. I want to know if Tasha K already knew. I want to know if she signed a like another disclosure. Make sure you guys go back and watch those videos. We have some makeup tutorials again. He is not a professional makeup artist, but we do like to play in makeup. Disclaimer. We're gonna give you guys a raw reaction. Let's get started. This leads to the phone. Okay, she's here. Who is that? I'm gonna go make sure I say hello to her. We ended with Nene running into Cynthia. I'm Miss Bailey. I'm Miss Bailey. I'm on this um, float. Look good, Miss Leeks. Thank you, baby. You're very welcome. 
Which I said last time, she didn't have to run into her because the float was so big. So it was really no reason for her to run into her, but she ran into her. I think that was purposeful. That was definitely planted, and it was definitely obvious that that was what the fuck was going to happen because they started anticipating it and talking about it. Cynthia, you're going to see Nene. Nene's going to be there. Oh, I actually already seen her when we were at the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, I actually saw her at the Kentucky Derby. Did you? Mm -hmm. I did, Mike, and I was there. Did y'all speak? Did you guys speak? I was prepared to, you know, Hi and bye. Mm -hmm. It was like exactly. this whole shebang about how they're gonna meet and it's gonna be an issue or it's not gonna be an issue. It was planned, it was staged, it was production. Me, I thought I'm gonna go make sure I say hello. Me, I thought I'm gonna go make sure I say hello. Take a picture of you with the Porsche fan. I think that Cynthia kind of was taken back by the fact that Nene came over here to speak to her. Right? And yeah. I think they all wanted some drama. We were there. at Gay Pride. Gay Pride, but World Pride, right? Um, we were not able to see Nene or any of them um, due to the huge stroller that we have. Yes, we have um, a stroller. It's not easy to get through a sea of people. Right, around the crowd. People have been standing out, had been standing out there since like 6 or 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. to wait on the parade that started at 12 p.m. Exactly. So we weren't one of those people exactly. because we have a child and she has to get ready. So exactly. we are, uh, we were somewhere scattered out in the mass of people who were there cheering them on and we were just watching the flow as it drove by. I knew that that's why Nene went up there. Honey, I am walking in the hands of the Lord. <laughs> Nene um, is old. She's in her older age, so um, no matter what, Noelle is a child and Noelle didn't have anything to do with it. Noelle has confided in Nene when she's gone through things with her mom, I'm sure. And Nene probably and knew Noelle was gay before Cynthia. Mom, I'm gay. Ex exactly. So of course she's not going to not go speak to her. But I also think that it was this type of thing where Nene is so old that she kind of slightly forgot about the severity of the situation. You guys cannot sit up here and say that they didn't look like betrayal. I don't give a damn what it looked like. Or forgot. Uh, how serious it was to her or how serious she made it out to be. Mm -hmm. So she walked up here on this float thinking, let me speak to Cynthia. Oh shit, I forgot what we went through, bitch. Fuck you. Like, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something like that. But then, if that was the case, she definitely made it seem like she was coming up here to speak to Noelle. Mm -hmm. And that was very cute and mature of Mimi to come speak to Noelle. <laughs> you home for the summer? Yeah. That's good, that's good. Knowing that Noelle didn't have anything to do with um, the argument or whatever happened between her and Cynthia. So Mimi spoke to me. Lo and behold, right while I'm saying that, boom. Is that okay? That's good. Of course, she's just to you. She has no issue with you. She has no problem with you. Yeah, she has no problem with you. She's going to come speak to you. So I think that was awesome. You look cute. Thank you so much. And this is what it is. Child. I also think it's awesome that they got all of them on the float together. I'm sorry, Reza and all of them and Lisa Renna and everybody on the float yeah, together. Yeah, I think That's that awesome. was his whole purpose of trying to get them together last year. Who do you have beef with on the stage? Anybody? Reza! Reza? Reza, Reza, Reza! When Hot Fuzz of Atlanta rap, you know, he had them all on stage and had right. them do their whole who didn't like each other or whatever. Reza, okay. he's been the person that has said different little things about me. Now, I'm not sure why. <laughs> last year, when um, Reza and Nene kind of squashed the beef that they had. Right, right. Um, on Watch My Happy I remember that. Something. I remember that. Yeah, they were kind of beefing or something because he said something. Ressa is this Indian guy, right? Mm -hmm. From Shaz. Yeah, Shaz said, I really don't know what that show is about. Rich Indians or something? Uh, yeah. Rich foreigners? Rich, yeah, foreigners. Oh, wow. Awesome, guys. <laughs> Cynthia. In the words of Nene Leakes, a hello doesn't cost me anything. It didn't cost you nothing to say a hey and bye in the words of Nene Leakes, girl. It cost you a lot of shit on your nose. We're doing all that ass kissing. Like, your nose is all up in me, asshole. You look good! When it comes to Marlo, I have none. Every time Marlo's around, she has something negative to say. Girl, I got I'm two kids and a husband. Right? What do you have? Okay, two kids by two different men. What do you have? What do you have? Two kids and a husband. What do you have? Girl, I got two and a kid. What's she say? What do you have? Girl, I have two kids and a husband. What do you have? What do you have? Girl, yeah. Eva is so country. And Marlo is like, she's just throwing herself out. But you know what? No matter what, when I look at her and I compare her to Eva, she is a true housewife of Atlanta to me. She's a true housewife. Yeah. More than Eva is, more than Phaedra is, for that matter. Yeah. Because she's been here long as Candy and long as Cynthia and long as Nene. Hi. Come here. And I want to introduce you to my girlfriend. Well, come on and introduce me. Introduce me, Diva. 
I know Marlo and Charles from the gym. Marlo's a socialite. Charles is an NFL football player. Because actually, we found out after watching the marathon, we watched the marathon, all of the seasons, mm -hmm. um, all together. And of course, it wasn't in a day. This took about three right. months, right. two months worth of watching. We've been together seven years, guys. So don't think, what, what do they do with their time? We've been together seven years. Okay, not three years or two years where we just took three months out of our <laughs> time to watch this shit. This was over a span of three months that we watched this. And we would normally watch it on the weekend when we had nothing to do, right? And when watching, I relearned, technically to me, OGs as well, mm -hmm. Marlo. You don't have to beg for that peach. You don't have to tenure, stick that peach at your p You would never get it from me. And I'm just saying that because Marlo is from the beginning of the float to the end of the float. Yes, Marlo, give it to them. Marlo, you need to be up here with me. I'm talking about boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I want y'all to see my face and make sure y'all go get that wig line and them shades, boo boo. That's my line. That's her line. Wow. Line of sunglasses. Wow, Marlo. Reza and Nini hanging out together. We were just talking about that. That is so funny because they were just arguing recently on like a Watch What Happens mm -hmm. All Star. <laughs> okay, just explain it. Crack. Okay, explain it. Was it was crazy that you talk trash about somebody that you don't even know. That was last year though. Right. Well, not this year, but last year. But you are like a size of a gnome. Like seriously. You're, I'm not small. You're I'm every size of a gnome. I'm the <laughs> size of you man. are knee high <laughs> to juicy. No matter what anyone says, Eva is a shady ass bitch because when Nene tried to, ex when Cynthia was explaining that I just spoke to Nene and I told her she looks great. I said, hey girl, you look great. You liar. Why would Eva say that? The bitch probably do look great. How are you gonna tell her she lying? You're like, come on Eva. That's like trying to keep the the, the drama there. Oh, well. You don't even have anything to do with that. So why would I you do love Nene, but I don't know why she came with this half a portion of a peaking stomach coming out. Oh, who is that? Should I say hello to her? Okay, but. It know. wasn't cute. Okay, um, she's trying to she be that bitch. Yes, but I, I love Nene. But no, she that bitch. It was a no. Um, the wig is a no. <laughs> um, the wig is a no. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Take a picture of you with the Porsche fan. Andy Cohen, very messy. I heard him at the end. You heard him? What? Let me see you take a picture with the Porsche fan. Now let me get a picture with the Porsche fan. Oh, I mean, like, Girl, and we noticed that. So we actually shady. noticed that uh, during Pride. We were looking at the uh, photos on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, we said, we like, everybody had a Porsche. A Porsche fan. It's all love. And, most and of now we see that they have Kim fans as well. Right. And that's, but Kim's also and that's because they, they weren't there. there. Right. I think so. I think, but 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 then um, Candy wasn't there and everybody else was there. But I think they had all of their fans. Right. I think the fans that became popular are were Portia, Portia and, and Kim. Kim mm -hmm. fans is what happened. In the words of Nene Leakes, hello doesn't cost me anything. Cynthia loved Nene so much. Cynthia gave me a friend. Girl, Get come on. I think what, he, what happened is Nene has forgot what happened or, or forgot the severity of the situation mm -hmm. and it remembered then. You're fraud! You're fraud! Says, you're fraud. Says you're you're fraud. Fraud. Everything that Marlo says about Eva is going to end up becoming truth. Like her saying Eva is a liar. Who's a big liar? I would say Eva. She may Marlo be a liar. Shady. I don't know. Marlo, be, Marlo is the adversary. She's been proven to be the one okay. that is against the grain. But I do feel like Eva is a liar. I've been saying that. I've been I'm saying, saying that. She's she was a liar. She's a flexor. And she's it's definitely the a girl is a liar. Why exactly are we a liar? She should have damn liar. It makes things look different than what they are. Hi. Yes. Hey, beautiful. Nene speaking to Eva, I feel like you don't even have to speak. I feel like maybe she was drunk and high. Or her spiritual advisor wanting to buy him. Stop dropping stuff on the phone talking about goddamn. No, God is not damn. Was probably. <laughs> you want to be saying something was the lie? The lie was that Eva looks great because Eva does not look great. Eva child. looks like that, that looked like somebody child beaded that shit, braided that shit up. <laughs> You look a mess. 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 Bitch, that shit look a mess. Girl. And I'm just fucking saying. Yes, sir. Wait a quick second. You look cute. Wait. Well, I hope you feel as good as you look. Um, uh, maybe, maybe not. This um counselor is always on either the Braxtons, Housewives. They're always on stuff, right? Dr. Sherry. This doctor. Dr. Sherry, will you talk to Tamar, please? Which free. 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 Just free. I know you're upset. Free. I'm more upset than myself. Hi, Tommy. It may be a disaster. I don't know, but it's just like something I feel like it's time to do. I'm Dr. Sherry. Hey, I'm so glad you came. And she looks like a mood. I'm hungry enough to eat a whole cow. Maybe I'm they kind of hungry too. Yeah. Somebody oh. trying to play a joke. <laughs> Look like they done sent one out here. <laughs> 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 she 
does. She looks like a moon. <laughs> what, what's my, what's my, are you all right? What's the matter? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> she looks like a moose. She does. She really looks like a moose. I'm dead ass. She looks like a fucking moose. She really does. She looks like a moose. Sherry is a shepherd. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a moose. Shepherd and the. Oh my god. Moose. The cows and the moose. <laughs> moose. She does, man. I'm not trying to be funny. I promise. She looks like a moose, but. We love her because she's better than Ayana. At some point, you have to say, not on my watch. Not on my watch. I will be here on one. I always look at her and say, damn, why didn't Oprah give her a show? Because well, she's a bootleg Ayana. Ayana. Well, she's a bootleg Ayana, but she's also a little nicer. Mm -hmm. She doesn't, she isn't so reality TV. Ayana is clearly harsh and hard on people because it's for ratings. You know right. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. She don't have to be that hard. Is she that hard when she go to her interview? Hard, disrespectful. Hell no. Be work, that bitch it's acting, to. and you pick up on those spirits. When you are actor, you pick up on those spirits sometimes, and she be acting. Honey. Yeah, she did. There's a consequence for broken commitment. Put that cigarette smoking boy. <laughs> <laughs> Edna mode <gasps> and gas. Oh, right. I gotta make sure that I'm good. I can't be having no mental breakdown. I mean, when when I'm depressed, I didn't want to work. Portia being a little bit dramatic because if you remember, on one season she had a Todd come up from out of town. One of my exes and I have kind of linked back up. His name is Todd. Todd and I dated when I was about 22. When I, I was 24, we dated at 24. Todd is an ex-boyfriend. He came from out of town or he came around. Let me say that. And she was saying she don't mind being a single mother. Uh -huh. I don't necessarily want to have a relationship with him. I just want him to be the dad. I just don't know if he'll go for it. Oh my gosh, I don't know, Portia. I've been contemplating having a baby by myself now for about two years. So I feel like him cheating on her and her doing all this crime and stuff will be a little bit over the top when it, when you say you can't go to well, work. Well, she on a reality When you show. say you can't go to work. When I'm depressed, I didn't want to work. You know, but I don't have that option because I have a child. So I have to make sure her future is secure. Now, that's I a little bit it. far. I don't know if I'm gonna be able because, to make it work because I can't afford that luxury. Because you, you, you work in a comedy, afford that luxury, but you ain't showed the fuck in up. a comedic comedy setting. You know what I'm saying? Which comedic I can understand it could be a little bit difficult to get. But no, but but but, but come on, they're gonna make you laugh. You ready, boys? Come on, boys! Up, boys! Up, boys! Up, boys! Up, boys! Up, boys! Up, boys! Up. Gary's gonna pick jokes with her. Okay, you make people laugh. You know. And if she doesn't have to, we know what she's going through. They are very real and open yeah. on, on Dish Nation. They are more real than the real, bitch ass. Yeah. Portia, I, don't, I don't understand. Let me tell you something. Portia's okay. trying to get that reality show. That's what that is, all right? <laughs> ain't real. I'm just saying, hell, Lonnie, Adrian, fat, triple neck ass all bitch. of them are fake. Lonnie, you fat, triple neck ass bitch. You scrubby thigh ass hoe. Except for Jeannie. Jeannie and Tamara will give me the realest bitches on there. The other two, completely false, phony, fake. Dish Nation are more real. They would say, Portia going through some things, Portia. So do you want to talk about it real quick? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Dish Nation. Yeah. My voice is that. Yeah, correct. Yes. But let me ask this, because this has been a fast-paced relationship. Do you think he earned the trust, or did you give him the trust up front? Right. Portia offered the trust on a silver platter with whipped cream and cherries on top. <laughs> really? This bitch said, she he like some strawberries and whipped cream, bitch. Her and Phaedra. You know, she, they they right. and cream. she said, I don't need a man, but here comes one, and I'm going to snatch him up and keep him around. Mm -hmm. but and just know, trust She's still been a little bit too dramatic. Too dramatic. Although I know his dating history and how he handled women. Candy coming to the door. Uh, hey, Judy. What's up, girl? Hi. Bitch, she looks great with this shh outfit on. You see the design, the design look like shh when the TV go static. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like when the TV goes shh, that's what her, her, her jumpsuit look like, that kind of design. Uh -huh. It's very cute. Candy has that snap body, bitch. And you ain't have to birth this baby. Oh my God, it's like vibrant when I see her. <laughs> Kenya, she looks eh, eh. <laughs> she looks eh. Like when you came over when Brooklyn was first born, he was arguing with me. And I'm like, dude, you can't tell me not to change the baby's diaper. Well, that's what the pamper is for. You don't need to be changing her every second. Uh... It was very shocking to see that she has been talking to Kenya and has been around to see some of the difficult moments in their marriage. I've been around Kenya and Mark at times where we have these conversations where they are not seeing eye to eye. And Candy has walked around like, 
you know, and word hasn't gotten out. Because <clears throat> I get from Candy, I do feel like she be with that get back shit. So yeah, I got some for her ass today. But I also get from Candy that she is quick to run her mouth. That she'll tell somebody business to Toya or Monica or Tiny, uh -huh. you know, one of her closest friends. But I guess not, because she kept this on the uh -huh. low. Uh -huh. She knew that they had had some problems, and that kind of warms me to know that she's been around with some of their issues. Candy is the ghetto bitch that's not going to tell everybody because she understands. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. You know what? I'm going to stop talking to you right now before I get blown up on your ass. Just like she said, Ty, be ignoring her ass. When I get angry, and if he keeps cutting me off, I explode. Mm -hmm. When they be arguing. Dang, 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 dang. That's some ghetto shit. I will get hood with you if I have to. If I'm ghetto, she ghetto. All right, that's a hood shit. That's hood argument. I will let a bitch have it. Kenya wanted to say that her marriage was new, like Candy. Candy has a very successful marriage, even though it's new. It's new like mine. Right. Girl, get the out of here. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Candy been no. there for four years, She's gonna girl. say, well, not as new. Well, you've been yeah, married, right. Yeah. You've been married for one. You wouldn't need right. an annulment. She <laughs> needs a divorce, bitch, right. okay? And she's so happy to have somebody to talk to about her relationship. <laughs> girl, we gotta catch up later. <laughs> girl, we gotta catch up on them another time, because this is too much, too much of a conversation, child. <laughs> girl, you know, she's so happy to have somebody to talk to. But don't be so thirsty for a relationship, because that's what it seems like. She's very was. submissive Kenya. to Mark. But in that relationship, she's very submissive. Kenya was just thirsty to get out here for a relationship. I'm not going to let you or anybody pressure me into eloping or getting married. Like, OK. You have me looking like a fucking crazy person. Look at my motherfucking garage. Just like Portia was. Oh, I'm a dusty gentleman. Yes. She's my cat. <laughs> well, I got another couple that we need to talk about. Portia, tell us about your new bae. Is his hand all over your globe like you ass? You were, I need answers. This you know where I was? To be. Uh, you know where I was? I was present in the relationship. Yeah, but what up, though? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Dish Nation Facebook Live. And now look. See? Watch. Young man, you gotta watch. Young man, you gotta watch. You're right, you're right. I know. You gotta Young watch. Man, you gotta watch. <laughs> That's what Badia said. Why is it three? Uh, or is that a drink menu? No, no, no. Uh, Marla's supposed to come. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in you. Uh, Eva has some shade for your ass. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not staying for whatever okay, y'all little power I'm supposed to be. Eva is shading the hell out of Marlo. Yeah, I mean, she it's like back-to-back -back shade. If there's any bullshit, then I won't be here long either. I'm gonna get well, then you won't be go. here long because her name is bullshit. <laughs> like knocking her off her damn feet. Like, <laughs> knock her out. Knock her out. Damn, she is giving it. Marlo is a very nasty person with absolutely no morals and a thick lace on her wig, which is always <laughs> ill-fitted. Then she just said this bitch ain't got no morals. Ill-fitted bitch with a thick lace, bitch. On the man, on her damn wig, bitch. She right. just went <laughs> hey. in on her ass, okay? She just went to in. But let me say, Cynthia, <laughs> you really don't know. Before Marlo get here, I had to pause it so that I can say that, Cynthia, you don't Ooh. know if Marlo sits and tell Nene to chill on being so paranoid on things that she may think. Marlo, we all know that her loyalty is to Nene. She got loyalty? And, well, Nene's still running around talking about me. She claims she keeps a sub 100. She don't even check Nene and say, hey, you know what, this may not be what it is. Cynthia is on the cusp of Aquarius. Um, and I know this because I study pop culture. And, and she, she a whole lot of fake. She Right, she's on the cusp. Uh, Marlo is an Aquarius, Kenya is an Aquarius. But Cynthia is right on the cusp of, a, of Aquarius and Pisces. Cynthia don't even know her own strength. Since you're actually not doing Trini's hip and you're your own person. She really don't. She don't even know her own. You know what I'm saying? Because she don't know how to balance it. She don't know how to balance her Pisces and her Aquarius. She just like Marlo in a way. I have become Marlo's big sister. Because she can be a baby Nini. A baby Nini. <laughs> she just like Marlo. She knows that within herself, she'll tell Nini. I can see Cynthia telling Nini, no, I think you're doing a little bit too much. Just like you do Kenya. Right. She'll tell Nini that. You can't think it's Marlo don't because I know I'm a bitch that do and I'm an Aquarius bitch. <laughs> I will tell somebody when they wrong, my uh -huh. friend or not, in the nicest way. So that when we go back to this next person, we can try to rectify it. Because I don't think they meant to like that. Right. I think Marlo do do that. I would tell Nene ass off in 2.3 seconds, okay? Because both y'all were. You didn't have to go on there and say nothing. Okay, even though you reacted 
corrected hers, it still was wrong. And that's why I said, you're in a new situation. I said, it has to stop. You just, you playing the fucking what was me car, and y'all got a common enemy, so let's talk. I do find it a little strange that Marlo invited me to dinner since she's actually here in New York City with Nini as her plus one. Cynthia, that was some good ass shade. So maybe a bitch is just hungry. The bitch well, is just hungry. You know, and if you didn't say it like that, that's how you should say it. That's how you gonna keep your peach. Just keep, and I guess the bitch don't is just call hungry. Nini hungry now. Like no, she was bad. calling Marlo hungry. She oh. was saying, she was saying, I guess Nini is off. Her, her owner is off. Well, off doing a scandalous interview she's about me now. while oh, you are, well, that's what it seems like she's saying. While <laughs> you come here and summons me, she said, I guess the bitch is just hungry. While her, her, her boss, her boss, top notch boss, her, her, um, her, um, puppet master, the puppet master is doing a scandalous interview about me. And I guess you hungry. You ain't here. Oh, she said, I guess the bitch is hungry and want to have dinner. Cynthia's the thirsty. She's talking about, um, Marlo. Cynthia thirsty. She hungry. I guess we should have a But it could feast. be true. Because I don't even think Marlo was booked for Wendy. Oh, God. Who's that? Come in. I think Marlo just popped up at Wendy and didn't get paid for that shit. And you know what she gonna say in the interview? Hell yes, I got paid. That's <laughs> <laughs> Well, I get a cute coin now, though, Wendy. But I love you, bitch. Convict with a lisp. Okay, okay thank you. I'm convict with a lisp. Come, come through. I live for Marlo. Come through, Shamari. I do. I live for Marlo. Hi, divas. Hi. I'm gonna hey. pack my little piece up. How you doing? Fine. Hello. Bitch, Marlo came through with the shoulder pads. Came through with the football shoulder extra, pads. Extra, yeah. extra, extra, extra. I'm telling you, it's Give a fashion. Give me quadrina, quadrafinka. That's true. Baby's on the way, more kids being great mothers. Everything should be positive. I'm just saying we're sisterhood. Are we now? We should be. You know what, one thing Eva, I'm, I can tell Eva not gonna be able to do is live up to the shit that she say behind somebody's back. I guess I'm gonna have to start on Eva. Okay, Eva, you my girl, but see, I hope y'all really paid attention to what went down in this episode because it will come back later. And Candy already gave us a hint and said on Speak On It. Uh -huh. I need you guys to remember everything that she said in this episode. So I don't want to give away what's going to happen in the future, but what she said in this episode is going to be important for the future. It's going to come back to exactly. bite Eva in the ass. It's going to come <laughs> I can't tell y'all now. I can tell that when somebody called the bull Eva, That's been Eva is not she doesn't know how to back up. Yeah, she she, gonna, she gonna be like, uh, -uh like, can you just like Phoebe did with Tammy uh -huh. Roman. Oh, okay, I've been set up. So I wanted y'all to come here because I'm just really bothered. I heard from Jackie that you had a lot to say about my age. Let me know what you said. I can tell you what I said. Okay. Your name came up. Why? So, bitch, I heard you said such a... I didn't say she washed up. She owned. She did. That's not how I said it. But it didn't come back to me that way. I was too old. I didn't say that. No, I didn't. Jackie said that. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Bitch, you know you old. Right, exactly. Don't try to put it. <laughs> That's the type of shit I think Eva gonna say. But you're walking out now, Eva. <laughs> you can stay. You don't have to run. No. Can certain. we pack this sure, and that up? Eva is nice enough to leave her some expensive ass duck. I want a piece of that duck. Leave her some duck on that plate. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> she said leave the bird for the chicken head. <laughs> and I love Grab my doggy bag up for me to go downstairs. <laughs> right, by myself. you wanna leave, but leave <laughs> I'm gonna take this. All right, buy smooches, buy some flour. I'll call you. I thought Eva was exiting the building. No, Eva just got to the steps and asked the waiter. A nice little to the bar. Yeah, a bar, any available seating. Right, a small little table. I don't care where you gotta see me. Let me finish my food, wrap this up. Baby, put some of that duck on my plate right there. She was kind enough to leave a little bit of duck, honey. I don't like this. She wasn't cheap, honey. When she was about this close to the camera, fading away, walking away, she rolled a fuck out of her eyes like. Golly, too much for her to take, huh? Yeah, oh she did. God. She definitely she did. On my damn nerve. Oh my God. She, she definitely did roll her eyes. Bye, girl. Bye, because you live in a fraud life and you broke. This is really upsetting, Marlo. She just got two or three jobs since she met us. She just got that. She didn't have it when I was talking about it. Marlo does not like the fact that Eva feels like she got to get up and leave. The veins are coming out of Marlo's head <laughs> and her neck. She, that really bothered her. She didn't have it when I was talking about it. Marlo makeup looks very clownery. Yeah, only little yellow. <laughs> um, Waffle House yellow. Clownish. Clownish. Today, because I, I'm really not understanding what's going on with all of this yeah, white and this kind of red mediocre. blush on here. Yeah, Although she's still giving me rich bitch. Bitch. But she's still giving me rich bitch. She is not giving me bootleg boosting ass bitch. Going forward, I just need to make sure that everybody knows about anybody showing up. If they ain't checking for. Hmm. 
So good. Let's watch this blow up in Eva's face. I'm sorry, Eva. All y'all bitches, I love y'all. And I don't want to sound evil or anything, but I do want this to blow up in her face. I want her to watch herself back. What people see about you, uh, you know, what people see about you, you may not be able to see about yourself. I hope it bites her back in the ass. I mean, you've tested the cookie jar and look at you now. Marlo said she didn't use the goddamn got to be glue today. You don't pick up oh your got God. to be glue and tag it back down and leave me alone. Put some edge Talk control. To me. Hey, she said I didn't glue her wig. Wait, is my wig coming down? I ain't glue it down. I did cry. I wish Marla would jump off a bridge with all her curiosities and concerns with my life. But jump off a bridge, not jump off a bridge, Eva. <laughs> all right, Eva, that was, that was very, that was some low down shit. Well, you know, I'm you guys didn't live right? off in a good space, so. Marlo's so upset. She didn't have those three jobs when I talked about her. <laughs> Damn, is that, that important? Um, have you and Nini talked? What's been going on? Uh, well, you, you know good well me and Nini ain't talked. Y'all talk today. Marlo trying to get Cynthia and them back together. Um, I don't, I just think that you should just let, let it go. go. Just let that situation go before Nini yeah. blow up on your ass. She's like, and pretty much everybody gonna say. I think it's really unfair that Nene can pretty much go on national television, do a blog, just pretty much blow my brains out, and the whole world would be like, well, honey, that's just how Nene is. It could. <laughs> it is just Nene, honey. She gonna go on game everything and talk about you. Don't worry about that. This is Nene. I mean, you already know that. Like Marlo said, you put yourself in that situation. But you know why? Because you've always done that. Well, that's your fault. Not doing it anymore. You befriended her. Now you ain't her friend. You expect her to do something new. But she was doing it to Kenya. Did you stop her? Assuming that you were talking about Kenya Moore. Who? <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, no, you didn't. When she was doing it to Portia, did you stop her? Does she declass the Atlanta Housewives franchise Portia? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, you did not. You was right along with her on the boat when she said the pussy joke and the rape you joke. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I ain't even gonna give you the shit about the goddamn Ooh, y'all. I hope you rape your ass. I need to take the car. It's still your phone. It's not okay. Listen, it's a mistake. I wish I could have said something different in that moment. <laughs> About the Uber driver and shit, you was right along with her ass. <laughs> so don't even try to play that damn game. I don't respect. You know you are bisexual. You were not honest about it. Not you knew you were bi- Not that's what her problem is. You know you were bisexual. You were not honest about it. You knew you were bisexual. Bisexual. Marlo, you really mad about that. It was the bitch came in that she was f***ing Missy Elliott. I didn't realize that it was Wendy Williams who had started that. Well, it actually wasn't Wendy Williams. It okay. was a blog like 13 years ago. Got it. Missy and I, let's just, just to clear it all the way up. I've never dated women. I've never dated Missy. I've never dated any of these people. They're my friends. They're friends that I've had in the business for a very long time. Missy and I had the same management. And Got because it. we had the same management and I was We're new to the out. city, we hung out all the time. So people saw us together and thought that we might be dating. And so that was that. But Marla was the one that tried to expose Candy, too. Somebody said that she was a lesbian in the closet. Candy, are you a lesbian? Wow! Marla! Who said that? When Sheree oh, said, really? told her that, right, in Maui, and you wanted to bring that to the table. Why are you always trying to out somebody out in the closet? And then you wanted to say to Sheree, you can go hang with the faggots with your ugly, stupid ass. That's why you don't have a man. Go and hang with the with your ugly, wait, stupid wait, ass. Wait, you wait, bitch. Wait, you wait. Oh yeah, I remember that. I do remember that. I remember that. Okay, cool. So I decided to bring baby PJ for my first day back at Dish. Portia finally coming back to Dish. After what have may have been the longest diaper run in history, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Portia Williams is back in. <laughs> We've been searching, we've been seeking, girl, and you've been absent. Portia, oh. You need anything else to yeah. Oh, her just like this. I feel ready to get back to that boss mom that I know I can be. I like that she's showing herself waking up in the morning with the ash all around here and the extra neck <laughs> and the double chin. Oh my God, I don't have anybody. <laughs> okay. I want to say that Portia being a mommy is so cute. <laughs> okay, sir. Her forgetting her little bottles and being in her sundress and shit before she go to work. Like, girl, you better get it. Just, ugh, I don't even like you. But, <laughs> I love Portia. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. Menu, this is the wine list. Thank you so much. You're welcome.
First of all, Nene, it's not fair that you guys gave her this blurred, sparkly background. This is the boathouse. And then her dress is already sequins or sparkly She's or whatever. Queen. Marlo shows up in the middle of the day in a sequins jumpsuit. Like, this ain't Studio 54, bitch. This is the boathouse. Like, She's the queen, bitch. So I think there's one queen and there's a lot of princesses. Bitch. Oh, damn, bitch. They don't want that out, bitch. Right, bitch. <laughs> she retarded. Are you kids cursing? There's adults over here. Look, cursing kids. Hi. Take it all the way down for me, yeah, baby. Yeah, I was just like, let me take my hair with it. How are you? I love what Nini has on. What is that, Versace or something? Versace, Versace. Versace, Versace, Medusa head on me like I'm Luminati. I, I, I know that you like It's very cute. So last night, you know, I told you I went to go have a drink with Cynthia. Mm -hmm. I get there, Eva's there. Oh, she didn't there. tell you she was bringing Eva. She didn't even tell me she was bringing Eva. Nene just seems like she's so um, over the bullshit on camera shit. Like her friendship with Marlo. Are we really doing this, sis? We really doing this? Wow, this is crazy. I'm gonna need damn therapy just trying to be their damn friend. It's deeper than it is on camera. So but why she always walking away from Marlo? That's why Marlo went off on her ass that time at the softball yeah, field. Is. Oh, rich people, I love Nini, are you really leaving me now, Lord? Oh, wow. Really, Leeks? I turn around and I see her, and I walk off. Yeah, that is true. She, I don't know shit. why she always do that. I don't know why she do that. I, I would hate that shit, too. Then you done left her all the way out here. But you know what? She know Marlo got her own. Marlo got her own money and shit. So she know Marlo can get herself from the bottom. Marlo got all her men money and shit. You're an asshole. Marlo got damn money. She get, a, she get paid for being on this damn show. People are so worried about the title. Like, oh, you're not a housewife. You don't have a peach. I do that a cute coin. <laughs> I'm like, a lot of people. <laughs> and for being a hoe. City hoe. How do you send She's a double hoe. Uh -huh. Whatever. Um, but I, I do I do think that Nene and Cynthia can sit down and talk. So how did it all end? So I said, I'm not here to point fingers. I said, you and Nene both are wrong. But uh, Cynthia, no, listen. I said, as a friend of eight years. Both you can't. They're both calling the same story. Nene is saying, Cynthia is saying Nene is doing scandalous interviews. Nene's off doing another slanderous interview about my ass. Now Nene, they show Nene going through all of these interviews that Cynthia right. has done. I finally did an interview. She been on every single show and radio saying I was a toxic friend. She was over with Candy on her little thing saying I was a toxic friend. About her. So really both of y'all. But Nene, Cynthia you, you talk shit now. But, but Nene has done it more than Cynthia because Nene has done it with Portia, with Kenya, with this person, Kim. Do you want to talk about your income? Now which one do you want to talk about? You don't we work, bitch. Go you go ain't got a job. Income. You don't have a job. Sheree. Sheree can be worried about her own mugshot. Her son got a mugshot and her man got a mugshot. So please don't call out no mugshots now. Let's be for real. She had hers expunged. She was stealing out the store, remember? <laughs> on national TV talking about these damn ladies. Right. Get mad at them. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you this, and this is going to be for the last time for you to know. Thank you for asking me to somehow do this, but that ain't going to happen. And I'm telling you this as a friend. It's personal, okay? Nene is, she's full of shit. Nene full of shit. Just like Nicki Minaj. That jumped on the, the hate train. And when there's a big hate train. Talking about this mad train. If you mad at me, be mad at me. But don't try to go out and get everybody else to get on the mad train. But what about when you were doing it? It's a double standard. All these interviews trying to get people to get on the mad train. And now you sit here and you say Cynthia trying to get somebody on the mad train. They hate train. And they both got the same sign. Dead serious. I'm fine with talking about feels, but what I'm not fine with is you are acting as if this is something that I did. And all of this is my fault. Nene, you wrong. You do shit too. How can you not remember what just happened with Kenya when you didn't care that you invited somebody and Kenya didn't want them there? I gotta be worried about Kenya. Yes! I gotta be worried about how fabulous yes! Kenya is. Nene had invited somebody that I used to date. And I said, I just would have appreciated a heads up. And she said, Watch her. Why would we have They weren't engaged. They were not married. As a grown and woman, and you can listen. I want you to understand. I want something. you to listen. No bitch that we any friend that I have will never tell me who I can and cannot. And I'm not, you know what? When I get ready to have an event, I'm not going to be thinking about what the king is going to be uncomfortable and I'm going to be worried about how fabulous Nene events are. What Nene? Now she did the same thing. You can't accept this girl apology and Cynthia come to you and say, I'm wrong. I just was really hoping for some reconciliation and I took the lie a little bit too far. Oh, wow. Really, Leeks? You're leaving me? Okay. <laughs> this bitch is crazy, for real. Marlo is so right. Get out your feelings and get into your bag. Get out your feelings, honey, and get in the bag. 
But I do feel what she's saying. Cynthia owes her an apology first. It is a such thing as somebody owing somebody first. And she owes her an apology first before Nene needs to apologize because, period, Nene came to the party, everything was fine the whole season. Hey. 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 I think a monster's here. You sat around and brought this girl there, and she's like, what the hell? Oh, Kenya, hey. 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 Now, Cindy, you said you wanted Kenya here, and she's here. Hey. Hey. More dailies in the building. That, that was that blindsided her completely, and you lied about it. And it was a sneaky thing where they had to play the recording and all after you lied. Yeah, hello. Hey. I'm, I'm Mike. Mike. I'm Mike. Just wanted to make sure we're on the same page. Setting up packaging out here. Nene always come off as the crazy looking one, uh -huh. but not the crazy one. Because right. she was right, you know, like y'all did something to her. Really, y'all did something to her. And just apologize about it, and if she can't get over it, then you give her the mush. The hand she gave King. Hi, friend. Oh, you want to give me the right down the street. I'm like a one night stand. I bang you, and then if I don't want to do you no more, I don't do you. Remember? <laughs> that was my shit. Oh my god, that was my shit. Are you excited or are you super excited? I'm super excited. Let me see how excited you are. Oh, 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 oh. That's baby sister dance. Hey. Todd is slinging. I guess great jogging pants for him is not banned like Portia said they were banned for dinner. Right. Them great jogging pants that I banned. <laughs> you ain't even leaving the house with no great jogging pants on. Oh, I think not. But I think this is beautiful that this girl is going to have a baby for them. Hi. Hello. Hey, what's hey, up? Ace. Remember when we said we were gonna let you see your little sister on the screen, but she's in Miss Shadina's belly. I do think she's paid, right? She got paid Definitely. well. Six she figures. Got, yeah, she got paid well. I love it. Once baby comes out, dad or mom, in this instance, can cut the cord. Who's gonna cut the cord? Todd can cut the cord if he wants, but if he doesn't, I'm good, I'll do it. I just can't wait to see this baby and see how it all turns out. Mm -hmm. Candy should, should have had a whole series alone uh, uh, not a series, but a whole a little segment, yeah. segment, you know, like a little spin-off mm -hmm. alone about this. She always does stuff that deserves a spin-off. Right. She does, and this definitely deserved a spin-off because I would have definitely been interested. The further we're getting into this pregnancy, it's almost like I'm getting to see what it feels like to be a man during pregnancy. It's weird. You know, we have the backaches. We want our feet rubbed. Oh, you know, I got heartburn. And they just sit there and they live their best. Oh, you know, I got heartburn. And they just sit there and they live their best life until the baby shows up. Girl, my phone won't even recognize me because I'm like, <laughs> Candy came through with his look, bitch. She came through with With a pixie cut, with no his, girl. I love it. I'm looking like Tinkerbell on a twisted Saturday night. No, I love it. I fucking love no. it. No. Grown and sexy. Giving me Shrek. Giving me new 2019 charade. Yes, it is. Giving me the now, All Candy got to do is turn that bitch red like season two when she first came on. Season two, but her season one. Turn that mug red. And boom, she got another look. There we go. Throwback. I was freaking out about going back to work. Like, I don't work with other people every single day. After what had may have been the longest diaper run in history, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Portia Williams is back in the <laughs> Anyway, we just need somebody who can be super flexible for her having a father who is very present in, in her life. Fred, of course. Yes. So she's going to communicate with him more than you are. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think that Portia is <clears throat> using a method of avoidance by trying to utilize the nanny or Lauren to be the babysitter and mm -hmm. talk to Dennis all the time because mm -hmm. she doesn't want to be the person to do that. She want Lauren to do that shit. Mm -hmm. That's not their job, Portia. You're the no, one. it's not. You have Thank to be you. the mediator. And exactly. you can't be expecting everybody else to take off the workload from you because you don't feel like dealing with it. And if y'all don't, That's I'm gonna get a chalkboard and I'm gonna write you into the schedule. I'm not organized. I'm not gonna communicate well with Dennis. You can still be in the middle. She want Lauren to really babysit that baby. Portia just think everybody's supposed to be right there for her. Finding a nanny is really difficult. I've had nannies who come and they like just exhaust you with information. Then I've had nannies who just want to sit and talk to me about my job all day. Bitch, go watch the baby. Now I can understand if she giving everybody money, then okay. But if not, no, honey, no. Right. No, absolutely not. Everybody ain't gonna be at your fingertips. Bitch. Exactly. The doctor was like, okay, he thought I was gonna be a good candidate. I don't scar and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he squeezed my nipple and milk came out. Yeah, Mark ain't sucking the milk out of titties. Mark sucking the really do that. Mark sucking the milk out of something else. And will continue to co parent in a loving way. Rumors, innuendo, or false accusations only serve to hurt our family and will be addressed through counsel as the law permits. Or 
he will be lawyering up Michael K. Sterling. Michael K. Sterling. Michael K. Sterling. He too busy trying to be the mayor of Atlanta next uh, term, girl. Stop it. <laughs> I feel like when you argue, you know, there's lines you don't cross. He must have called you out your name or something. Ooh. That, that is sad, though, that Kenya is going through what she's going through. How does he speak to you, and what is his tone like? I cannot say that. I can't revisit that. Mark gives me that he has called her a bitch um, maybe once or twice, or twice or four times. <laughs> Talking about, oh, I can't wait to and see you again. The, the man that you've been sleeping with. The man you that you've been lying. going around you having lying. an affair with as a man. Oh, no, no, no. An Aquarius will push your buttons like that. <laughs> Make you go there with them. Make you go so far. To My mom used to say that about me, you know, um, and she's a Leo. Uh, and I'm a person. I always say that. It's frustrating and I don't know what to expect. Is this what all couples go through? How do we get over this hump and get back to where, you know, we're happy again? Candy, don't be so gullible that, you know, you're sitting over here like, oh, he just, she, he's not just doing her any kind of way for right. no reason. This is a professional man. I doubt that it's for no reason. It's probably something that she's done that is irritating him that they've had argument about or stuff that she does that irritates him, like being too bossy and trying to run shit too much. And he probably don't like that. He probably just don't agree with that. But it's sad to see that her relationship has gone down the drain like this. Where'd you get your nose pierced? I want to get mine pierced. What happened with his? Uh, oh, he has a nose ring. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it was a nose ring. I, I guess he was on Washers or something. I don't know. But he couldn't get it done when he wanted to get it done. But he al always wanted to get his nose pier pierced. I, I don't know. It's just it was different. I thought maybe he was bisexual because of the insinuations they were making about nose rings and shit. I haven't really seen a guy with a nose ring since Tupac. Who made insinuation about nose ring? Phaedra or somebody? Sheree. Sheree was saying his nose ring. I don't know any guys who always wanted to get their, their nose pierced. She can't be mad, because she said that they call Christopher Chrissy. He's called Chrissy, and I'm not talking about the reason. Oh, I know y'all have heard the rumor. Stop! Kim Bills, so you can't be mad. Just stop talking about people's husbands. Until, until you do right by me, everything you think about is going to cross. It'll come back around to you. Exactly. You messing with Phaedra, and Phaedra's in there home day. looking at you now. now. Like, dang, look at what you're going through with your husband. This so, man wilted up whole Kenya. Phaedra, everybody go through stuff. But the point is, you really fucked with Phaedra and her marriage big time. You know you was openly flirting with that man. Come help me take, take out the tequila. Your set up. It's a set up. No, I'm serious. Just I don't know what I'm ordering. Oh, your ass will get in trouble. Whatever. <laughs> Sit your ass right in that chair. <laughs> From the beginning when I met you, I was like the biggest Apollo fan. And I think you know that. To aggravate the and he was fan. fine as hell, but you couldn't resist yourself. Me and Brooklyn went last minute by ourselves. Kenya went on her anniversary trip by herself. Um, that's very disrespectful and just ill-mannered and very um, numb to have to somebody else's feelings, Mark. What the hell going on? Didn't you just celebrate an anniversary? You asked me for suggestions of places to go. What did y'all decide? I ended up going to Turks and Caicos. He wanted to try to make it seem like he didn't want the nanny to go on the trip with him. I don't see how it's going to be a, a vacation if you have the baby there with you. Because if we could pay for a fucking nanny, honey, and go on the trip, we would. Right. And, and the bitch would be coming with us. So. Exactly. I like Mark, but I just don't understand why he would allow Kenya to go on her anniversary trip alone. I'm not understanding it. Like, it seems like he don't really want Kenya no more. He wants the baby. She's saying, she and she's being very open and honest. Hey, this is Dr. Jackie with Open and Honest. And I'm Dr. Heavily. Um, about her situation. You know what I'm saying? Because she's saying, when I got pregnant, it got like this. But you know, I'm not getting enough attention. Where's Mark? When I was about six months, seven months, mm -hmm. he just started getting like really freaked out with my belly growing. And as I started getting like bigger, I just think he just thought it was kind of awkward. But you know what that gives me? That gives me a man who's by. And that's just period. Because guess what? A real man love pussy regardless. Exactly. And gonna love that lady regardless. And he looks at you and he's like, I'm nothing stuck my that fast. Inside of that, but love, you don't fall out of love that fast. You don't fall that fast and be like, oh no. So it's either not that and it's more than that, or it's just not that at all and it's something else or something. Because that just don't it, it don't make sense. That means he was never really there for you. He was never in love with you. And I understand where she's coming from. How do you relationships go through some shit. We've been together six, seven years, seven years and going on seven years. And relationships, you go through stuff. We didn't get married our first or second year together. We got married three or four years into the marriage, uh, into the relationship. So I understand kind of, sort of, about 
getting over humps and going through stuff, but everybody is just different. So it may not even be there for you guys no more. She, he just may not be in love with you anymore, or it's something that you did. And I really feel bad for her. I really do. Candy can't give you the advice because she ain't in that situation. I don't feel bad for her at all. I feel like Kenya brought this upon herself. She's been very uh, wrong and disrespectful down low to people in the past, and now her man is being the same to her. The communication is not where it should be with us. And then I just feel a lot of times like stuck because I don't want a conversation to elevate to a full-on argument. He doesn't compromise. He doesn't compromise. I do feel like they share a lot of similar instances in their relationship, and I want to say that I do think that Candy definitely does know where Kenya is coming from about being called out of her name and stuff. I can see Todd being that person sometimes to kind of uh, jab at Candy in the wrong way, just as Candy seems to be like, she seems to me like she can be the one to uh, kind of hit below the belt sometimes. Mm, yeah, she, um, she do. But they, they, they don't give me that. They got the same. Candy give me that she gullible and that Todd is out there cheating like Marvin. Why don't you call kind of ask him about what he just told a girl in New York this past weekend? His name is Marvin. Okay. So that he can cheat. Marvin, what? his alias. That's what Candy give me that she gullible and allow Todd to be Marvin and just turn a blind eye to it. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, Kenya give me you better not cheat. Mark give me you better not cheat, but get off of my back. Right. That's what he give me. He give me you better not cheat. I'm gonna be all on your back, but don't be all on my back. You know what I want to know what his sign is because he's very um uh, he's very arrogant. You can't find anything about him. You can't really find any old pictures about him. And Kenya got that on lock. She wasn't playing. He do too. That's why he want to be on reality TV. He know people gonna start looking up shit about him. Right. This is the Urban Bench. On Rebel TV, the Raw Reaction Reality Edition, season twelve of Housewives of Atlanta, episode. Four. Make sure you subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. So that way you can be subscribed and notified of all the videos that we post. And don't forget oh to follow God, us fly. on right. Ugh. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to hit the like button on our Facebook page at T H E E Urban Binge. At the Urban Binge, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that like button, even if you don't like the video, and hit it the notification hurt. bell. We have to go tend to our child. I know you hear that in the background. Anytime she wake up from a nap, she wanna be aggravated. That's not our problem, honey. Bye. So let's get into this um, marriage medicine, and again, we were there. I mean, let's get into this. Again, don't forget to thumbs up, and subscribe, and do not Yeah, we are Okay. There's a piece of brow thing right around there, right up on the nose, right? I have my hair braided up into a little ponytail. Oh, right. Uh, 